Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at classes so if you remember in the last tutorial we made this class called person and we added some subs and some functions um, the subs mainly do stuff that a person would do such as eat, exercise, work, and uh, increase income now we also made some functions that will return the weight, the money, and the income um, now we made these private so that somebody in another class cannot access these directly and change their value and when we use these functions right here instead of giving them direct access to the variable it just gives them a copy of it by returning that so now let's go ahead and come over here to our form1.vb class which is for this so just go ahead and double click on it and it'll open up public class form1 so now what we need to do to use our person class we just need to type imports person so what this is going to do is it's going to let us use our person class that we created so now let's make a uh, an object of our person class so we'll type private my person as new person okay so now that we have my person what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to form1.vb and let's just go ahead and add three buttons so we'll add button one button two and button three so we will set each one of these buttons I will set the text to this one to eat we'll set this one to work and we will set this one to let's say uh, exercise see what other subs we have in here uh, we have increase income work exercise and eat so let's add one more button here called increase income we'll set the text to increase income okay so now let's set the names for each one of these buttons so we'll set this one to button eat we'll set this one to button work button exercise and button income okay so now let's add a couple labels that will show the user uh, what the current weight is uh, how much money he has and um, what else what the income is. So we'll add a label and we'll add two more labels here. Okay, so the first one we will do, we'll set the name to label weight and we'll set the text value to current weight. Okay, so now let's come over here to label two we will set this one the text to current let's see money and then we'll set this one to current income okay so let's make this a little bit wider okay so now let's go back into our code and we will start working with the person class so we have the um, our person object so now what we need to do is we need to have it the person eat whenever we um, click the eat button so we'll go ahead and double click on eat and it will open up the click event for that so now what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type my person and then we're gonna use dot now use dot whenever you want to call any of the functions or subs or access any of the variables inside of an object that you have so let's just go ahead and do eat and our argument is pounds is double so let's just have them eat five pounds now when the form loads we want to set the text of each one of these um, current weights current money and current income so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type um, label weight dot text 
equals, and it'll do current weight, and then we'll just go ahead and add my person dot get weight, and then we'll just go ahead and convert that to a string to add it to our label, and let's go ahead and do this for each one of the other um, labels. So label, and looks like we didn't rename this. So let's set, let's rename current money to label money, and then this one to label income. Okay, so we'll go back to our form one dot vb, and we will type label money dot text equals current money, and then we'll just go ahead and access my person dot get money. So what this is going to do is it's going to uh, return the money value back to the caller which is in form1.vb and we wanted to do it like this instead of accessing the variables uh, directly because then we could change it and cheat and have them um, get a whole bunch of extra money uh, for no reason. So let's do that again for the label income. So label income dot text equals current income and then we'll go ahead and add my person dot get income and then we'll convert that to a string now when you call dot to string you can add parameters or not whatever you want uh, either way is going to work fine so we'll just leave it like that so now let's go ahead and run this and you can see that we get current weight is eight pounds uh, current money is a hundred dollars and their current in income is seven point or seven dollars and twenty five cents and these are all defaults that are created when the person class is uh, made. So now let's come down here and we will finish the button eat event. So the person has uh, the person ate five pounds. So now what we want to do is we want we want to update their weight. So label weight dot text equals current weight and we'll go ahead and add my person dot get weight and then we'll just go ahead and convert that to a string so now let's go ahead and run this and you can see we've got current weight is eight pounds we got current money is one hundred dollars current income is seven dollars and twenty five cents so now when we click eat it will go uh, it will add five more pounds and we can keep clicking this and it'll add five pounds each time we eat now you could add a text box in here that will let you um, add the number of pounds that you want the person to eat and um, so that it won't just automatically add a default each time. So um, this has been a little bit of basics on objects even uh, although we've already used them earlier in tutorials uh, this should help you understand them a bit better. So um, if you haven't already go ahead and pay, make the person class. Um, put this code in, you can mess around with the form, rearrange stuff, add text boxes so that they can add uh, custom values uh, and then once you've done a little bit of that and you know what uh, what's going on in this code go ahead and move on to the next tutorial